there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. Here we are back on the Phantom Manor ride because we're going to be building part number 15 in today's video. So if you remember in part 14 we actually went ahead and built uh, the saloon over here and we kind of got up to this section over here where we have the mountain to sort of continue the ride with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to down here where the train is and we're actually going to finish this mountain, build the train and then hopefully get up to where we would be where the saloon is. So basically where the hotel is on uh, this uh, other side. So yeah, we've got quite a bit to do today. So uh, I'm going to just stop the intro here and crack on. All right then, Assassin. So once you reach your Phantom Manor ride in progress, you want to grab yourself some coarse dirt, some magma blocks, campfires, and then water and a sponge to extinguish them. We're going to go ahead and build like a bunch of these campfires, but they're all going to be extinguished. So we definitely need these two materials just to clean up the mess. <laughs> now, firstly, what we want to do is we're going to come down to the side of the mountain over here. Now, what I'd like to do firstly is I'm going to go ahead and knock out this one, this one, this pillar here, and then these magma blocks here. Um, basically, everything on this other track that uh, we're going to be changing today. So I'll remove all that just so we know we have like a fresh start, a nice blank canvas to work with. Perfect, and this is fine because we've already done most of that anyways, which is great. So now we can take ourselves these materials. We'll start with our core start from this little gap, going right the way along to the other gap, just here. Two layers, of course. Then we'll do another one in here. <laughs> of course. Core start, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a bad joke. <laughs> Let's go in here for another one. And then we'll do this one two layers up again, just like so. And this is kind of the... Uh, the ground bed of where we're going to be doing some cool decorating and stuff. Awesome, so now we can actually take ourselves our campfires. Now we want to leave ourselves a little bit of a space between the rocky sort of landscape here and then where the train is going to approach, well the exit to the tunnel. So we'll take our magma for that, we can sort of mark out things with it. We'll come into the space down here, we'll build one, two, three, four, five, six, so basically just two lots of three. And then we'll do our first campfire going back on this one. So we'll do two layers of course start in a three from that one, like so. Hope that makes sense. We'll do campfires on here, like so. And then put your water on so it extinguishes. And then just place one sponge down to get rid of the water. Cool, and that'll be like that for us, which is great. Epic. Then we're going to have ourselves some more course start in here. A little space here. Another one here. And then we'll do magma for one, two, three, like so. And then we're actually going to jump up just here for one, like that. Then we're going to do one diagonally around the corner, like so. And then this one over here is going to continue along, I think it's for about four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Four blocks in total. Well, eight in total if you count the, the bottom layer. But we're only going for the, the sort of length here, like so. Amazing. And then this will go again upwards in that way, but we're going to leave that for later. Awesome, so let's get back to business down this way. So we're next going to take ourselves some more campfires. We want to do these as if we're building the track. So we'll use ourselves campfires this way around so that we have this sort of row like that. So all of the the so, sort of most prominent logs are facing the, ugh, <laughs> the exact same direction. So they're nice and parallel. And that's what we're trying to go for. So we place our water on this. Quickly place a sponge so we don't destroy anything else. And there we go, we have ourselves two tracks in ready to go. We want to build one in the floor here, so we'll remove that piece of course dirt and place a campfire, and then one up here. It's almost like it's been falling into the ground due to weather reasons, or it's just old, so that's what we're trying to make just there. Sponge again, get rid of all the water. Cool, that looks really, really good. Amazing. Now we're going to continue this going backwards so we can actually build the rails under the train. And this gets a bit tricky because we need to go inside of where the tunnel will be. It's not going to be much space later on, so if we get it done now, at least we'll have a bit more space for it all. Let me grab another material that will help us out for this section too. So one material turned into three actually. <laughs> we'll grab ourselves some deep slate tile stairs, some black stone, and a stone button as well. We'll go on down to this area over here, and we're going to build like the... It's kind of like... I want to say it's like a snow shovel on the front of a train, but I know that the trains don't always need to clear snow. So we're going to build this thing on the front anyways, which just goes along the front of the uh, the sort of campfires we added in the back there, like so. 
and that will sort of allow it to go along the rails and stuff like that. Of course it doesn't look like it, but it's just to give them the illusion of it. And then we'll go behind this and we'll want to build ourselves two blackstone blocks like so. And I think we can do this on both sides. Yeah, we can. Like so. And these are going to be for the main th front wheels. So we're adding our stone buttons on both sides. Then we want to do ourselves two campfires behind these. Uh, again, I believe this is on both sides. So uh, one, two. You can get them to be the right sort of way around so they connect up as well. That will probably be for the best. Like that. It looks the cleanest. And then we'll place our water down and then of course the sponge as well. Perfect. Now I think on my other side, on this side over here closest to us, we need to add in another block of blackstone. And that is going to be for the finalizing part of this. Because the tunnel kind of comes out giving the illusion that it's longer than it is. So it goes back into this like corner over here but not on this side. So we're trying to give that illusion just there by building more of the train on the left side there. Good stuff. Okay, and I think, yeah, we're going to leave a stone button off of that one because we don't really need to add it. But yeah, that's all good to go. Brilliant. Now we'll continue with this area. Okay then, assassins. So we're going to do a little bit of landscaping now where we're going to take ourselves some coarse dirt again, some magma blocks, some dead bushes, warped buttons, spruce fences, spruce planks, spruce trap doors, a barrel, and some sand as well. Apologies for the lisp. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build from the magma that we've already started with over here. We're actually firstly going to go to this corner down here. This plays a vital role in kind of decorating really. So we'll go ahead and fill it in with core start just here for these two. And on this one furthest forward, we'll build four spruce fences going upwards. So three, four, just like so. Perfect. On the second to top one, we'll do ourselves a block coming out of it like so. And on this one, we'll do a block oops, going out the back like so. You can also do a block down here like that as well. This is going to be for like a signpost to tell cowboys and things where things are in the town. So we'll do trap doors on all of these like so on the top, just like that. Brilliant. That looks really good. Then we'll do ourselves a, uh, oh, I forgot to grab a pressure plate. We can always grab that later. So we're going to add in a pressure plate down there. Actually, you know what? We'll swap it for the sand. The sand is only there to mark out where cacti are going to be. So if we grab ourselves a pressure plate now, right down the bottom, it's going to be a spruce pressure plate, of course. We do it underneath the sign like so. We want to do ourselves a barrel just here in front of uh, the magma. So I'm going to place a block just to angle my barrel on like so. And there we go, we've got a barrel out the front. I'm going to do a warped button here and a dead bush to its right. I'm going to do myself a trap door down here, diagonally off from the button. I'm going to go up to this gap over here, so diagonally from the corner here, just to here, and add in a dead bush. Then I'm going to add in a row of core start, just to this gap up here, like so. Now that will allow me to go ahead and go up from the dead bush, and to the left for one, and then maybe on number two, we'll do ourselves a spruce, uh, spruce trapdoor, even, just like so. Now backtracking over here, we still have got some stuff to add in. We'll come down from the campfire to its diagonal right, we'll do a dead bush, then a stone, sorry, a warped button up the diagonal right of that dead bush, then another bush in here, and then another button just there. Then we want to come on down to the magma back here, making sure it's four, one, two, three, four. Going on to this one behind the sign, and we'll go for five blocks of course dirt. One, two, three, four, five. Stack it up for two like so. Perfect. Then on the very last one, we can go ahead and build just one in here. And that'll be for where the mountain sort of has a, a little cutout part, just in there like so. Just double checking that's five. So there's gonna be a barrel on this one. That's how we sort of check. We'll do a barrel on here. We want it on its side if we can get it. Oh, I have to be on the ground. There we go, like so. We'll do ourselves another core start row just to its um, left side over here, but we'll only go for two. There's gonna be sand in this one. And then there's going to be another two up here. And that is how we know that we have five, because we have a cacti to sort of symbolize the middle there. On this one down here, we'll place ourselves a spruce pressure plate, like so. A dead bush behind the barrel. And at the very top up here, on the uh, on the row that is in line with the barrel, so this one we're on, we'll stick a warped button and then a dead bush just here. Perfect. Then we'll go along for course start for one, two, and on this one we'll have ourselves a stone, sorry, a spruce pressure plate. 
pressure plate. <laughs> so hard to say. And then we'll do ourselves one, two, three core start on here, symbolizing like a little hill, uh, just going upwards for where the hotel will be a bit later on. So this one will go along for two lots. And then here is going to be a barrel just coming out of it. And this will still be on the two layers of course dirt like so. Cool. And then we'll do ourselves filling this in just like so. Adding in a warp button in front of the barrel. We'll do ourselves another lot of four course dirt just here. We can actually come out for one lot of course dirt there and here with a trapdoor on. And back here this will be the way, where the hill continues. So we'll do three and then we'll do another three diagonal just here. And then we're gonna leave two here, and then another three here. And this will kind of be the end of the, the sort of hill here until it goes into a closer to the track. Cool beans. Okay. <laughs> then we'll come on down to the magma blocks just here. And we're gonna add in seven diagonally away from the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like so, and build this up to two layers again, like that. We're adding ourselves the core start here. And then we'll add in ourselves core start in front of the magma, just here, like so. Just closing up this little gap. Which once it's all in here, it starts to look really cool. It's starting to take a lot of shape. God, that's a big mess up. There we go. Cool, and then we'll do ourselves a... Oh, we'll actually do a trap door down here. We'll do it on the seventh one here. We want to do a barrel again on the side. So we have to crouch or shift click against the trap door. And then we'll do pressure plates around it like so. I'm going to do myself a warp button just down here. And then I think that is basically everything. Oh, there's another button just there. Yeah, that's pretty much everything in here. There is going to be a lantern just on like a, a spike over here. We'll add that when we add the cacti. Oh, speaking of which, I need to make sure I leave that space. There we go. Just there for the cacti. Look at that. That's starting to take a lot of shape. Landscaping is so much fun in Minecraft. And... To make it look western, you just add in a bunch of spruce and it looks really, really cool. And dead bushes. They always look really good. Yeah, that's wicked. Okay, if we want to move a little bit further down this way, we can add in magma blocks going diagonally down from the seven here. So one, two. And then it goes next to the track just here for one, two, just like so. And then it will go upwards um, for the three. We can actually add that in now. There you go. Like so. Then course start in that little space. Wonderful. Look at that. That's starting to look awesome. Let's go ahead and add in the hill. So we'll do three and three to make that into a three. <laughs> Perfect. Then we'll do three, come out for one. And then here we'll start at the back and build along just to that space there. And you can do that once more just for the magma there like so. Perfect. And we may as well go for this one as well. Yeah. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. That looks good. Let's add in the final details and then we can move to another section. We'll do ourselves a pressure plate just here. One just here, and then we'll do a trapdoor up here. We'll do ourselves a dead bush diagonally from our pressure plate. Then diagonally down over here, we'll do ourselves a warped button, just like so. Wonderful. Good stuff, guys. If you'd like to come on into the tunnel here and add in core star underneath what you've built already, then please feel free to do that. And you can also add it alongside uh, what you have here as well. So you can just do it here. Bear in mind, this will be inside the tunnel, so not to worry about that. And certain elements of this will be closed up. So you won't see this technically anyways. But um, it's good to have it all done. So there we go. Epic. We may need to course start later, but for now we can grab ourselves some mountain materials. Okay then, Assassin, so let's go ahead and continue this mountain and tunnel area over here. Let's grab ourselves some granite stairs, some block of raw copper, and some granite slabs as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and firstly come around to this side over here. We want to start by building the edge of this sort of tunnel. We'll take our block of copper for that and we want to go down here. In the space of the magma, we're going to build this up and we're going to go past... Uh, actually no, we're going to go in line with the block of the sign just here. Then we'll add a granite slab on like so. Then we want to take the copper from next to it and go upwards so we're in line with the uh, slab like so. Then we'll do it again over here. But this one is going to have a slab on, like so as well. So it kind of goes up into a nice stairwell, like that. Staircase almost, like that. Then we'll do ourselves two lots of the copper here. And it's going to be in line with the previous one, so it doesn't go higher than the slab. Just like that for those two. Cool. Then we'll take the slab and we'll build ourselves four 
in line with the previous four copper like so. We'll do a slab here and a slab in line with the other slab. Then we'll do ourselves a block behind the slab here with a slab on top of it. And then we'll do ourselves a stair just here, like so. That comes down from the block there. And then we're going to build copper from this stair going downwards just in the space of the magma, like so. Cool, and as you can see, that goes into a nice old archway just there, which I'm just going to look if that's all right. Is that all right? It is all right. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that is a relief. If we do a block of copper in here, like so, that sort of finishes up the inside there. Might connect it up with just another one there as well. Nice. So now we need to go up to the top of this. This can get a bit tricky. So we're going to go behind where we have the slab area here. We'll go from this copper and we'll build copper going backwards to that slab, like so. Then on this one we're going to build it back going inwards towards the tunnel. Then we'll do ourselves a stair of granite just here. Then we already have all that in there, which is great. So we'll go to this one and we'll add in a block of copper, like so. Another block of copper that way. And then we'll do ourselves a stair going upwards that way, like so. Then in here you can add in yourselves a slab of granite, just like that if you want to. Now from this one, you can come to this one and add in a block of copper with a slab on like that. And as far as we know, on this side, we don't really see anything, which means that there's going to be like a black sort of blank wall just here, similar to what we did over this way. So it's just for setting the illusion. So that's what we're going to go for there. Perfect. Back around to this space over here, pretty sure it's just filled in with a nice old... Oh, actually, we fill it in with granite. Let's go ahead and fill it in with granite then. Just there like so. It's going to look a little bit untidy on the inside, but it is quite cramped in there once we have the train. So it will look much better. That looks really good, guys. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's looking awesome. I hope you guys are happy with that too. Great job. So let's go around to the back section over here. Let's go ahead and add in another, uh, another granite slab just here. Ugh. <laughs> Sometimes my tongue trips me up mid-sentence. <laughs> let's go ahead and add in another block of copper going backwards to the left from that one. Then we'll drop down here and add in one with one out forward for one, obviously. And then we'll drop this one down and it should leave us with that space that we, yeah, sort of added in there with our core stuff. Then we'll do ourselves a block of copper here with a slab on top. And this copper can come right down to the floor as well, like so. And now we have a little step again going up this way. So if we were to go up this way, you got there like so. We'll come behind this one and we'll add in one, two copper. And then we'll go to here and add in one copper with one slab. And again, that will have the blank wall behind it for the edge of the tunnel. Cool. Now here we can start ourselves a our new landscaping area. And this will be for continuing the rock face kind of going along the back here. So we can come to this block over this way. And we will go for copper here and up to next do the slab like so. Then we're going to leave a block gap and we're going to go behind this just to here, adding in one, two. And I'm actually going to take my core start back for this. I'm going to go one, two, three to build the hill just here. And I'll do this for four blocks in total just to get to that corner there. Now I can take my copper back and I can go one, two more. So that's actually four blocks off of the floor. We're going to leave a space here. And this will have either an upside down stair on it or a slab on the highest point. I suggest building yourselves another copper sort of thing here, adding the block there and then doing either or just there as well sort of mounting it to the side of it. We'll do copper over these, one copper on this side, and then a slab on that one like so. Voice break. <laughs> then we'll take copper again, going upwards here, and we'll do it until it's in line with the stair or the slab, and then we'll add a slab on top of it like that. And then we'll take our core start for the three, and we'll go behind this and add in enough copper to reach us to that slab, and even if it goes over, not a problem. We'll do ourselves a copper in the middle of these three that are exposed. And then we'll do a slab down here. And we'll actually do ourselves a slab on top of the block like that. Now beyond this point, we can do ourselves, well, we can do copper underneath it. And then we can do copper to its left as well, like so. We're almost building a H just here, which is pretty cool. This copper on this side will actually be two blocks over the slab. So we have one there and a second one needs to be there like so. 
Then on the second one down of this one, I'm going to do myself an upside-down stair. Two more blocks of copper on this one. Uh, no, actually three, Whew, like so. And then we'll build ourselves copper straight down to the floor. That's as far as I'm going to go for the moment, because we actually have enough space just here anyways. Just perfect. So now we're going to backtrack and build ourselves a train. So for our awesome train just here, we're going to take ourselves a spruce trap door, a grindstone block, spruce stairs, deep slate tiles, deep slate tile stairs, and the deep slate tile slabs. We also need a lodestone block, some levers, and an iron trap door as well. We want to come on to the uh, actual campfires just here, and we're going to place ourselves three spruce slabs like so. S slabs? Uh, spruce trap doors even, just like so. Then we'll come in here and we'll build ourselves two deep slate tiles like so. And then we can do ourselves spruce stairs going all the way along the side of the uh, train just here. And this is going to be from the actual engine, just like that. So we'll match it up to each side. So this one to the campfire. And on this one, it will be to the... Uh, uh, oh, this is testing my abilities here. Blackstone, just there. <laughs> Forgot the name of it. There we are. Then we'll take our uh, deep slate tiles again across the upside down spruce stairs like so. And then we'll take our deep slate tile stairs along these, but actually out for the front for one block as well. So again, on this side, right back to there as well. So it's going to be a little bit uneven, but like I said, it's all for the illusion like that. Good stuff. Okay. So now if we come back to the front side over here, we're going to take a slab here and we're going to do one slab and one slab. So we're making like a slab block just there. Cool. And then in here, we'll take our lodestone. And then we want to go ahead and place ourselves a block of deep slate tiles just in here. And you can actually do these all the way along the rest of the train like that. Even to the back there, that's fine. Cool. So in here, we're going to cut back into the sort of train engine just here. Um, in the floor, you can actually just add in some deep slate tiles again if you wish. Like so. If you're uh, a little bit concerned it's going to be too exposed or whatever, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to stick a lever on the back of my lodestone, stick an iron trap door on the front of my lodestone, flick the lever, trap door comes up, and then we can close up this engine part, like so. Now we want to take ourselves some of our grindstone. We're going to do one just here on the side, so this is going to be in front of the upside down spruce stair, like so. The same on the opposite side as well, just like so. And these are going to be for actually building the, the parts of the train that moves the wheels. I'm so sorry, I love trains, but I seem to not know anything about them. <laughs> but yeah, they move the um, the wheels and they're kind of for the pistons that um, move the wheels in a cool, cool way. That's a terrible, terrible <laughs> way to explain it, but I hope you know what I mean. So um, yeah, that's what we're trying to do now. If you want to come down to the bottom here and add in your deep state tiles like so, because they are a dark material, when you look at this from the tunnel's perspective, you're not going to be able to see under the carriage and even under the train, sorry. And even if you were, you can only see like a dark material. So it look, just looks like the abyss back there, which is what we're going for, which is good. All right, then, assassins. So we're going to go ahead and complete the train now. Let's go ahead and take ourselves some iron bars, a bell, a nice hopper, spruce slabs again, some smooth basalt, a lantern, an item frame, black concrete, and some blocks of raw copper again as well, just in case we need to fill out a similar tunnel. Firstly, I'm going to use my black concrete. The only reason being is because I have the dimension on the tip of my tongue, and if I don't do it now, I'll probably forget. So we're going to, <laughs> so we're going to go back here, so where we have the uh, sort of tickets uh, area just here. We're going to go, well, the depot. We're going to go to this one, this row just here with the two warped planks on top, and we're going to build ourselves 14 blocks of black concrete going upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, just like so. And this 14 will be continuous all the way along here and kind of closing up this entire section, really. So that is super important. We get that to the 14 now, so we don't have to really change anything later. And this will go around the entire back of this, even with that hill there. So that's perfect. Brilliant. And that will be carried along to uh, the rest of this tunnel. Now the rest of this tunnel, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves kind of following the mountainside here. So we're going to take the black concrete until we basically can't go any further without going diagonal. So we go to here, and then we need to go past this one again. So we'll go just to here. 
and start building it up to the 14. Like that. Again, just here. And then we'll do again just back here. And this is for the back of the train, of course. But then we hit like a bit of a, a bump just there, so we need to go past it again. But what I'm going to do on the inside is actually close up the end of the tunnel just being where the back of the train is there. Because, of course, we know that it's not the back of the train. We're just trying to give that illusion. So that's what we're going for just here. And as we already have some of the mountainside past this tunnel area, we can continue the black concrete going along and sort of shadowing everything just here as well. I think this is probably one of the most fun sections of this build. And it doesn't sound like it would be because it is quite repetitive, but because we're sort of filling in the spaces that we've left for it, which we didn't know we were leaving for it, is actually quite fun. So if we go ahead and do this, and also it gives everything a lot more depth. So when you're inside of it and you're looking around and you're thinking, wow, it looks like it goes on for miles when actually it's just a plain old wall just here. So it's pretty cool for that illusion. I'm pretty sure this is what Disney do as well, which is awesome. So there we go. That looks 10 times better now. So if we come onto the inside of here, of course, we'll finish the train in a sec. If you want to go ahead and start blocking off this area back here, just add in some black concrete around it. That's absolutely fine on the side. Remember, we want a little bit more depth. So it's quite dark in here. I know. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's just stick a lantern down to just so I can show you. So I'm just going to pack it out with black concrete in here for the end of the tunnel. Um, we don't have to do it over it. Yeah, we'll do it to there. Just gonna grab that there. And then up to this one, like so. Cool. And this space here, we're going to close up the tunnel just here by taking our raw copper along the... Uh, the wall just there and building it straight up to the top so there's going to be like no more space for anything else just in here close up the mini gaps in the ceiling as well even that one oh trap myself careful not to trap yourself it's always a bit difficult i've completely trapped oh no there we go <laughs> oh gosh so we need to get back in and just like i said sort of sort out some of the areas that are a bit troublesome and when you come on in, if you just make sure that you have that arch sort of there already for you, like that. And this block is the only one we want to see exposed on the front. So you can continue to add in a couple of these areas if you want to. But we only really want that one, maybe this one, to be uh, sort of shown there. But I'm going to knock that one through because I'm going to add a smoke cloud going that way instead. And same with this one. So I'm going to add it just in here to there. And on this one, I can add that one right to the end, like so. That's fine. Yeah. Mm. We'll change it. Up to you. I'm kind of undecisive, indecisive. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So now for the rest of the train details and whatnot. This is pretty fun. What we do for this one is we're going to need to take ourselves the iron bars firstly. We want to come down to the left side over here firstly. Oh, let's just pack out this wall. This one is quite tight to uh, the edge of the train. So we can just build this one straight up to the top there. Yeah, that's good. Cool. So we're going to take ourselves some iron bars from the back one. One, two, three. And then we'll do two here next to the ups and down um, spruce stairs like so. You can actually leave this wall a little bit open if you want to. Um, I actually did on my original one, which I just noticed. But if you want to like cave it out so it looks realistic like that, so it's got little sort of gaps in the ceiling there or something like that. And that looks a little bit more realistic, like it's been hollowed out by people instead of uh, the mountainside, like so. And then on this one over here, this is going to be a little bit more flat to represent the uh, the sort of train in all its glory. So we're going to do this one with the three iron bars in line with the upside down stairs, just like so, and from the grindstone. Whereas this one's kind of going down and back. Now then, for the top, this is one of the coolest and defining features of the train. We'll do ourselves a hopper just here. And this will have the smooth balsot just in here. And this is what we can change certain elements of the train to look like sort of a black cloud of smoke. Just going into there and maybe down here like so. There you go. And that's puffing back there and it's kind of clouding up the entire tunnel, which is awesome. And this saves us a lot of time in using our raw copper and making it look a bit, a bit strange. So you can even change some of those blocks there. Yeah, nice. And then we go behind this one, behind the hopper. We're adding ourselves two bells because we're a bit greedy. So, oops, let me just cave that out so I can see. Two bells like so, with the actual standing things. And then we'll do ourselves one spruce slab just in there. 
And then I'll do myself copper again. And I might do myself a smooth basalt behind our slab just there. Maybe one there as well. And one more. Whoop, there we go. Bit of a perfectionist. There we go. <laughs> awesome. But really, this is about if you guys are happy with it. If you didn't like the version I'm using here, please feel free to change it in any which way you want to. It's not a problem at all. Let's go with an item frame on the top slab up here. And this is going to be for adding in our lantern, just like so, to really make that look like a train, which looks pretty cool. So what I'm next going to do is I'm just going to knock out um, the balsa on that one just there next to it. And maybe the one down from it. And there we go, have a little bit more depth to that, like so. Amazing. Happy days, that looks pretty cool. So now we have to build ourselves another new building. This one is fully copper, which is awesome. It's just got different types of copper here. Let's run through our inventory. So we have ourselves some jungle stairs, some jungle fences, jungle planks, lanterns, waxed oxidized copper, waxed block of copper, waxed weathered cut copper slabs, waxed weathered copper, and some coarse dirt as well. Firstly, come on down to your corner of the hill just over here. We want to go ahead and add in three just in here and three just here to sort of kind of group up the corner there a little bit. We'll do ourselves three in here and we're going to start our staircase just on this one, like so. This will have an upside down stair behind it and it will do this pattern going up until we reach our second floor, which is three stairs up, just like so. At the very top up here, you can add in yourself two jungle planks like so and you should have reached basically almost the end of our area of course we do extend this out a little bit later on so that is all good to know cool and if we can get in close to the exit again woohoo <laughs> awesome so let's take ourselves our jungle fences we will go for two down here two again and then we're going to go for three right the way along the planks two and then we're going to go for one just here on the plank and then downwards for one, two, and I think that is, ju yeah, just two, like so. So we have ourselves right at the bottom. That should be worth four in total, like so. Nice one. Okay, so that is the staircase in. If you want to add in yourself core dirt under the staircase here, so you can get that uh, fence to stop levitating, that would be awesome. No levitating fences in our Phantom Manor, although this is kind of a spooky occurrence. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Now let's start with our building. So we'll take our coppers just here. We're going to go along the side of our staircase firstly, which is going to be starting with our waxed oxidized copper. I'm going to go right to the bottom here, get it in line with that first stair, and I'm going to do just one block above and then switch it out for my block of copper here. I'm going to skip, say, in the waxed part because you guys know that these are all waxed materials, so they don't obviously weather away. So we use our copper there. Then we'll go with our oxidized copper, which is going to be for the three. And then we'll do two down and one here. Of course, this will be the full wall. So on this side, we can build it right down to the floor like that. We just do an alternating pattern to make this look a little bit more metallic -y, I guess. Up here, we'll do ourselves a waxed weathered cut copper slab, just like so. Oxidized copper. And then here, we're going to do a weathered copper, just like so. Block of copper. And then we'll do waxed oxidized copper weathered below and then below that we can do ourselves normal oxidized like so there's going to be a doorway here so of course we leave that space then we'll do ourselves normal uh, sorry uh, oxidized copper just there up to reach the fence post where we'll do a normal copper and then we'll do our weathered slab like that nice we'll do ourselves another weathered slab just up here like this i think we do have another slab material we can grab as well so um, we'll grab that in a second so if we go around the corner here, we'll go for, um, we may as well do some oxidized right up until we reach where the slab is and then we'll swap it out for, swap it out for some copper like so. So I swapped my core stuff for an oxidized cut copper slab. So we just want to place this on the copper like so. Then up from this, we'll do a block of copper to its left and then an oxidized and then we'll do the cut copper, sorry, the oxidized cut copper slab like so. Normal block of copper. And then we'll do ourselves a um, oxidized just in there like so. Actually, no, we'll go for a weathered like that, just down from it. This is a very, very slanted and sloped building, which is kind of weird, but it looks cool once it's done. So let's go around to the front side now. 
So around here it gets a little bit easier, back to doing a normal wall. We'll take ourselves some oxidized copper, we'll go from the floor, one block above the floor, we'll stop here and add in a normal block of copper, <laughs> copper, and then we'll do two oxidized, and then we'll do a block, uh, two blocks actually, for the floor down here. You can either use Corsta or you can use one of the coppers. I'm actually going to use myself Corsta, just going to swap out my planks for a second, like so, perfect. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two, and I'm going to do myself a weathered, just on the fur block up. Then I'll do a normal block of copper, two blocks of oxidized copper. Then I'll do a weathered slab up here. Then I'll do a weathered block just here like so. And I might swap that one for a weathered as well, kind of looks cool. And then I'm going to do weathered down from this one for three, just like that. A normal oxidized, a normal copper. And then two more oxidized and actually we'll do the entire row just there like so. Nice. This is kind of hitting the peak of the building. This is as high as it gets on the front side. And then it goes a little bit higher for the one behind it. We'll do ourselves a normal copper up until we're a block over. Two oxidized, one weathered, one oxidized again, two copper, and then we go up here. This one's going to be a copper on this side. So we'll add in one below so we can anchor it. And then here we'll have in two weathered just like so. You can do another weathered on this side, but I'm going to do an oxidized just like that. That's cool. And then we'll do ourselves a weathered and then we'll go for a weathered again, but a block this time. Oxidized, a copper, and then three oxidized and actually go into the floor like so. Nice. And then we'll go for a weathered just over here. So we'll do it in line with the oxidized. We'll do ourselves two more oxidized coppers, a normal copper, and then a bunch more oxidized to the floor like this. And as you can see, we're sort of getting down to the bottom now. We'll start with an oxidized cut copper slab here, uh, in line with that block, by the way. Then we'll do a weathered and normal copper, and then we'll end it with oxidized again, just like this. Remember, this will be core start at the front here as well. So we can actually add in a couple rows of core start. I'm just gonna do it up to the magma. I think it goes a little bit further, but for now, we'll only do it up to there, like so. Nice one. Now we need to get around the side of the building again. So we can start by going from the front and then the side will come around later. So we'll go for an oxidized just here behind that slab. And this will have a weathered slab on top of it. And then to its right, we'll have a normal copper block here, like so. Now I'll swip, swip, swap around even just over here. Now bear in mind, some of the pattern on this building doesn't have to be the same as mine. I should have mentioned that way back, but um, if you wanted to change it up completely, please feel free to do so. As long as you get a mixture of these blocks, then you have no problem to worry about, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and build ourselves. I'm gonna go for oxidized and I'll swap out some stuff with some copper on the way up maybe, like so. And then I'm gonna do this one, which is just gonna be oxidized, a little bit weathered in there. Copper, normal oxidized again. Up here on the very top though, you can swap out these ones for weathered. So it's gonna be like a cluster of three weathered like this in line with that slab. And I'm gonna do copper just here, two more weathered and I'm gonna drop down with my oxidized. And then we have one final area to go for. So we're gonna do ourselves copper, oxidized, a little bit of everything basically until we reach this block here. So we had adding a slab on top of it basically, which is gonna be an oxidized cut copper slab. Nice, don't worry about the big jump there. That is supposed to be happening, so don't worry. Let's do a waxed weather just here, and then we'll do a normal copper just like so. A weathered uh, slab on top of that one. A weathered block just here. A cut copper block on this one. And then we'll do two slabs up here. We're adding blocks for these ones just so we can place the slabs on. We'll do it on both sides. So we'll go for random blocks. Let's go for weathered. Then I'm gonna do myself weathered and oxidized and the same over here like that. On the very top, I'm just going to alternate between certain blocks again. So doing some coppers, doing some normal oxidized, can swap that out for a weather just to keep it original, and then a block of copper, and then an oxidized copper as well. Keep it original to my original, that's what I meant. <laughs> Not original to the manor, I have no idea. If back here we'll do ourselves behind the slab, just to oxidized and actually bring that along. And then back here we just need to close it up, so you can do any blocks you like on the back. 
really doesn't matter too much at all. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. You can just do whatever you want. As long as you're happy with it, that is all we care about. So we're just going for a random, random suggestion of anything. Anything goes. Which is what we like to hear. Just doing this. Couple weathered. A little bit of normal. And voila, nice shiny building made entirely of copper. That would be ugly in real life, but that looks beautiful in Minecraft. <laughs> awesome. If you want to add a... Uh, excuse me. If you wanted to add in a second floor in here, feel free to just go crazy with your copper on the inside. You do have enough space to add in the second floor, so that's all good to go. Like that. Perfect. You can even decorate it as your survival house if you wanted to. If you're building this in survival, with respect, you are mental. But um, very well done. <laughs> awesome. On the inside here, we use core stuff because this is a prop house. So um, you can imagine this just been plonked down here. It's not actually, it's probably not actually copper. It's just probably painted to uh, look like that. So we'll just do the core stuff in there like so. And voila, we have ourselves the copper building looking good. Now we're adding ourselves some jungle fence posts outside of it and things. And these are going to represent just the lights around the Wild West. So we'll go for two fence posts over here next to our trapdoor and a lantern on top. Then over here we'll have our, where we'll have our cacti even. We'll do a space away and we'll go to here adding in three fence posts and a lantern on the top there like so. Wonderful. Okay then guys, let's get some more materials. Okay then assassins, so we're going to go ahead and decorate the rest of this area here and get ourselves prepared to build our hotel. Let's go ahead and add in ourselves, sorry, let's grab ourselves a dead bush, some spruce pressure plates again, warped buttons, some barrels, some cacti, some sand, spruce doors, coarse dirt, and a magma block as well. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and stick in ourselves some sand here. Three cacti just to match the lantern uh, sort of post just there. And then we'll do ourselves another cacti up here. We're going to do it just here as it goes sort of around the corner there. We'll do again three cacti. One, two, three, like so. We'll do a warped button back here. And then a pressure plate just here. And a dead bush in the corner down here. Then we'll come over to this side and we'll do ourselves barrels under the stairs for three. Oops. Just like so. And then we'll do one here from the fence post like so. This will have pressure plates just on those two sides. And then we'll do one um, kind of going back in here as well. For this you will have to add yourself in some more core stuff. So we'll go behind here. Just add this in. And this will go along the back of the building just here. It only goes for one block which is good. It doesn't go any further than that. So we'll do ourselves the pressure plate just there. Like so. Nice one. I believe that is everything on this side of the thing. This side of the thing. Everything. Yep, we will just add in maybe one more dead bush just there. Yeah, why not? That looks cool. Okay, so let's spin around to the front and where the hotel will be and stuff. We need to add in where our track layer is going to be. Now, do bear in mind we had that obviously little issue uh, back here somewhere where the track is a little bit short on one side. Now, I actually just went ahead and re sort of did my own research on my original build. And we have this section which has nothing on it. So if we do need to extend this backwards by one block, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. So um, yeah, I actually think we're going to be more than fine, to be honest. We're going to be absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to make this one into worth uh, four blocks. So we've got one, two, three, and I'm going to do four just in here like so. Um, hmm, actually, ah, you know what, we'll just do the three. We'll just do the three up to the edge of the building. That's actually better. Then we'll do ourselves some magma blocks here. And these ones will go along for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like so. And up to the three layers just here for the new track layer. Then we want to do ourselves another eight this way. Diagonally up again from this lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is awesome about these is of course they glow a little bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So yeah, they give us a little bit of light for this area, which is awesome. Nice one. And now we can take our core stir and we can actually build the front of the hotel area, which is great stuff. So let's go ahead and match up the core stir to the back of this little building, which I think is like a factory building, but I'm not really certain. Um, I'm trying to think of like Western buildings that this could be. So if you guys have any suggestions or you know what it is, please let me know down below. That'd be epic. 
Okay, let's go for one, two blocks just in here. Match them up with our core stuff. And we'll go right the way along to, uh, you know, we'll actually stop in the middle of the eight. So we'll go for four in one, two, three, four, just to here, like that. Then we leave four extra on the end, which is perfect. Yeah, cool. Let's add in these core starts here, like that. And then I'm going to come down to this end over here. I'm going to add in core start on the end of the magma. And I'm going to add in one singular barrel just on there, like so. And then I'm going to add in three more magma cubes here, magma block, sorry. And that'll tell us that the track is about to curve around the corner again. Nice. Hopefully I didn't get a bit too carried away there. <laughs> but no, I think that's all good. So let's go back to this section over here. So we ended on the uh, sort of eight and whatnot. If we go right the way back towards this side of the building, we can add in ourselves a barrel on here. I'm actually going to stick this straight up to the ceiling or to the sky. And I'm going to do a watch button here, a dead bush just in front of my little lantern, just like so. And then we'll do a pressure plate over here next to the barrel. Then we'll go right the way along here. Um, we'll actually go to diagonally up from this one, one, two blocks. And over here on number three, we'll do ourselves a warped button. Then I want to do a barrel. This one can be on its side, that's fine. Then we'll do a pressure plate. We'll leave two blocks. And then we'll do a warped button here. Then we'll leave a block. And then we'll do another pressure plate. And then we'll go up here, adding ourselves core start for three sort of um, areas, just like so. And then we'll add in a dead bush here. And then we'll go for two lots of core start up to the three and add in a pressure plate just there like so sweet that looks cool so yeah that all connects up we got all the core start in now and now we need to get our hotel in oh let's just check i think there's a little bit more core start around the side yeah there is so we need to carry this on so we want to go for core start we've got the one two three just in here on the second one there's actually going to be a block in here so we can actually add in core start just there sort of around the block just a little bit We'll add in a dead bush on this one, and then we'll continue with one strip of course dirt right to the back. Now this goes back quite a bit. Now I'm not really certain how far it goes back because I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm going to go back until we reach that one just there, just so we can match up. We can always destroy it if we need to, or extend it if we need to as well. Nice one. Now we'll leave that there, and we'll get the hotel built. Oh, before I forget, do the doors. Don't forget the doors. Stick yourself in a spruce door on this little building here. It can be on the inner side. I recommend it being on the inner side. There we go, like so. And then over here, we can do this one as well on the inner side, like that. So it kind of leaves the uh, outcove for where the door is supposed to be, like so. Nice one. Okay, guys, before we do crack on with the hotel, I just want to say a very well done to you all for this section here. It is really looking awesome now. It's starting to take a lot of shape. And um, I know that you guys have been waiting so long for this, and I really, really do appreciate your patience. So thank you so much, guys. You're awesome. Let's go ahead and take some jungle slabs, some jungle fences, jungle stairs, jungle planks, black stained glass panes, oak planks, spruce slabs, spruce signs, and item frames as well. Whew, so much materials. So many materials. If we go on down to the space over here, this is, of course, where we're going to build on our hotel. Let's do ourselves three lots of planks in the floor. And we can actually bring planks along the floor here and just fill this in. We know it's gonna be where the hotel is, so that's all good, like so. We'll do ourselves two lots of fence posts on this side over here. Then we'll do ourselves three um, slabs in here, like so, jungle slabs. Then we wanna go for one, two, three fence posts here. And then we'll leave a gap of two slabs and then another three fence posts over here. I believe they're three. We'll go for two fence posts here, but either side of each other, not stacked. And that'll be where you can tie up your horse if you've uh, sort of been riding around the Wild West. Nice one. Then we'll go for building upwards onto where the sign is going to be. So we're actually going to build in ourselves some planks over these uh, fences. So we'll bring it from this side going along and we'll stop once we reach this side over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a fence just here, so it looks like it's snapped off and it's kind of gone over here for some reason, just like so. We can miss out that corner in a second by adding in a block back here, just knocking off that one as well. There you go, looks even cooler. 
Now up here we'll go for adding in um, five slabs. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, leaving a block on each side empty, just like so. And then we'll do planks on top of these, like that, for where we're adding our hotel banners that we made in the previous part. Nice one. Right, let's go on to, oops, I forgot to add in a window. So we need to go back into the section here and we can actually just, let's bring the floor all the way to the back. I think that would be a good idea to do. So let's bring the flooring here all the way to the back. We already know that it's going to be sort of overstretching this area as well. So we can bring it to here and just add in this entire space for our flooring. Probably the easiest part of the hotel. <laughs> oh, no, nah, it's going to be fine. There we go. The main decking of the uh, building. So it's just going to be here. That'll be a block away from the fence. So we'll do one, two, three, four, up to the other fence over there. And then we'll add in ourselves this window that is going to be two blocks in height. And it's going to go alongside the wood over here. So we'll do one, two, three more blocks here. We'll do two lots of three over here. One block in the middle. And then we'll add in ourselves two black stained glass panes here. So the window is closest to this wall over here. Like so. Nice one. Then we're going to sort of connect this across so it connects to the roof area and you can actually connect that right into the corner down this side as well like that even this block connected as well actually I'll leave that off for a second just because I think we get around there doing some stairs so now on the top here we want to add in the sort of top de decking area so where the sign is I'm gonna add in myself a stair um, from the uh, the sort of sign here there and then here Bit of a random looking sign I know, but um, it does kind of look cool to the, the western effect. And then we can do jungle planks above this area. Just like so. Sort of doubling up on the uh, the rooftop tiles here and everything. Just like that. And then we'll do ourselves uh, some fences across the top. So we'll go for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just like this. And then what I might do is I'm going to put the planks back in the stair spots, add in stairs up here instead, and then do planks across for three. Like that. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay. <laughs> Just checking against my um, my original one. I was like, oh, that might look a little bit strange. That looks better. So now we'll take ourselves jungle fences behind the sign like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. Nice little hand railing. And then we'll take ourselves jungle planks here. One there, one overhanging the building like so. Going up for three, like that. Leaving a gap for the doorway, just with one. Adding in three blocks here, and another three here, but then it starts to get a bit weird. We'll do a normal block down here. We'll do a normal stair going upwards like so. And then we'll do a stair with its back towards this building over here. Then we'll do a block above it, two blocks above that stair, and then three blocks on this side. Now we'll do ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six slabs across the very top, and that'll be the top of the roof there, like so. Nice one. Now we need to work our way around the building. As you can see, there's little gaps in the building here, just to show that the infrastructure is kind of rotting away with its old age. It's what we're trying to represent just there, which looks pretty cool once the whole thing's in here. Now then, I always think it's best to get the roof done first in a building, just because then you know that every wall coming down from it should line up with the roof. So we're going to get that done now, unless you get it wrong, obviously. <laughs> so we're going to go for one, two, three planks back from the slabs. Just like that. And that'll be our kind of roof um, top there. So we'll do another three slabs on the two sides. And then we'll do six slabs on the very back here, like so. And that is where everything should be in accordance to uh, the walls and stuff. We may need to extend the floor, but that's all good. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. Okay then, so now we can work ourselves down to um, the side with its opening for the playing cards and stuff, which is on this side. So from the ray roof down, we'll go for a nice four planks like so. And then this one gets a bit strange as well. We'll go for an upside down stair here with a stair with its back towards the upside down one. Then we'll do another two blocks. And then we'll do a block down here Another stair with its back to the block, and then we'll do two uh, blocks in here. And now on the very bottom down here, 
again it gets a bit weird we need to stick in ourselves a slab on this side an upside down stair just in here a slab again an upside down stair just here and then we can actually make that into a block which is nice so that's kind of lucky <laughs> um, we can actually build a fence post down from this one as well so we'll do ourselves three fences just like so so now we have ourselves the first floor to deal with we're going to come on down to this end over here where we have ourselves the uh, sort of fence post here we'll bring our planks just back by uh, just the one block actually that is all good just to line up with the roof above it we'll bring in this row as well and we'll bring this down the core start doesn't need to match up with this uh, maybe on this side it does but on the other side no because we're going to use this to come up to this area and then we'll go around the back of this area here so that'll be all good to go we'll take ourselves a jungle stair just in here we'll do ourselves a spruce slab here four oak planks and then another spruce slab here and i think we add in a third seat as well just around the table there as well nice one we'll do ourselves two signs on this one just so you can come straight out of them once you've done them we'll do three signs on this one oops not on, on not on it actually <laughs> we'll do it on the side of it and then around this one we'll just do ourselves two as well as we're going to have the back wall just in here nice one so now we have ourselves three chairs ready for people playing poker we'll do ourselves some more jungle planks from this back wall here and to match up to this wall here so we'll build this one up Bear in mind guys, you can add in your little, you know, extra details with these um, on these two walls as well. So I recommend doing that later. Um, by the way, over here, knock off that block there because we're going to stick ourselves another stair just on here. Then we'll do ourselves a slab just up there. So we can bring planks along to the slab and then we'll do it sort of so on. I think you can actually bring that one over just there so it matches up with the back of that upside down stair which is perfect. Now there is going to be a hole in the floor above, so um, we need to make sure that is available. As you can see, this sort of half of the um, hotel is missing. It's obviously been sucked into the void of the underworld, so um, we're trying to make that illusion just here as well. It can be a little bit difficult, but we can get there, so don't worry about that. We'll come into this corner now. We'll go to this one on the second block up, knock it out and replace it with a stair sideways. Of course, that will be a black wall back there, so we won't need to worry about that. We'll do ourselves a fence post here, and then in here we'll do ourselves another stair like so. Now above this, just a block away, we're going to do ourselves three jungle planks, and we're going to bring this just in there, so it's a total of nine uh, just in there like so. Three, three, three. Cool. And now we need to make the little sort of gap in the floor. So this one on this side can actually come right the way to the building's exterior. So yeah, as far as this comes out, we need to do it just two blocks of jungle just here. Then there's going to be a singular fence post that comes down from it again indicating that maybe it was connected to this one back in the day but obviously it's been blown away by uh, the weather or something what we'll do for the uh, hole in the ceiling is we want to come to um about another block there and we're going to leave ourselves sorry about the squeaky chair <laughs> we want to go for a fence post here and then that will leave us with one block here and that will allow us to place ourselves a slab in here and that way we can stick another slab just there and we have the sort of hole in the ceiling which is perfect that looks good awesome now i need to make all the sort of poker stuff down here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch out all of my materials besides my item frame because this is the only thing we need to keep now so let's go ahead and get some more materials besides our item frames oh and one last thing is if you wanted to texture this as well just by adding in some random um you know stairs back and forth like this for example and feel free to do that guys that would look really cool okay let's go for it keep your item frames let's get it so now i've grabbed myself an item frame a rabbit hide my white banner that looks like a playing card from part 14 the lantern flower pot a barrier if you guys don't know how to get this all you need to do open your chats and commands window type in slash give at s and then barrier and it will come up with a little sort of closed off symbol just there you enter it it comes up with in the top left corner you have given yourself one barrier and of course it doesn't mean just the one it means infinite amounts and uh, just again keep in mind if you're playing on survival and you sort of get this um, in your way it will not be able to be destroyed in survival you have to be playing creative in order to destroy this 
Um, also, when you're not holding the barrier, it's invisible, which is awesome. That's what we need it for. You're also gonna need yourself jungle trapdoors, core dirt again, and a barrel. Perfect. Let's go ahead and build three more core dirt here. Then we'll do ourselves two more here. Sorry, uh, that's another three. Another three here, another three here, and another three here. So we have like a cluster of four just coming out from this area here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna knock back these two like so. Yeah, my bad. So there's a cluster of four on this end, like that. We'll just do a barrel just here like so. And then I'm actually gonna pick block some pressure plates to place it either side of the barrel like so. Nice one. So on the table, we'll stick ourselves a barrier here and here. This one will have two item frames from it on the top and the side, because these are like cards sort of floating in midair. And this one will have one on the front. We'll do a card on its side like so. We'll do ourselves a flower pot here and a flower pot the other side of the table, just representing maybe some uh, glasses of, uh, did they drink beer back in the day? I think they did. So maybe just some sort of glasses of beer there or something. We'll do ourselves another card on the table here. And this one is gonna be facing again sideways and this one again facing sort of a different way as well. Pretty cool. We'll hang ourselves lanterns from the uh, fence posts, which are nicely placed around. We'll do this one on top. And there we go, that really adds a bit of light to the area. How do I get out? <laughs> there we go. Uh, now we've used up these materials, we can take a jungle trap door for our doors. And we're gonna do it just here on this block, but it's gonna be facing towards this wall. So we do one fold up here and we're gonna crouch. We may have to place a block above for this one. So you can place it uh, just there if you want to, and then you can sort of fold down the trap door so the handles face each other like so, removing the block afterwards. And there we go. Now we need to grab ourselves oh, uh, another item frame here on the doorway, and then we'll do a rabbit hide above it as well, like that. Let's grab ourselves our hotel sign out of our storage, and then we'll place that on the front, and then we have some little details to get done, and we finished up today's episode. So then, now we have ourselves our hotel banners back out of storage, we're also going to need some chiseled nether bricks, some block of raw copper, granite stairs, and granite slabs again as well. Let's place our hotel sign up here, from stair to stair, H-O-T-E-L, and the hotel is built. Looking amazing as well. Let's go ahead and take ourselves some chiseled nether bricks, and we want to build these along until we reach this block up here. Now there's going to be one strip of three on this end, and we know that because, uh, well, it's going to be kind of opposite uh, the hotel and uh, saloon, so they kind of sort of match up a little bit here, like so. And then we'll build these two going backwards this way until they reach the point where they can't go any further, which is here. And then that means they're going to go into a three again, and that should connect up to this one. Perfect. Then we'll do the same here. We'll fill in these twos. Oops, sorry, that's not two anymore. Or there. So make sure you leave this little gap here just like so, and that's going to be for some magma, which we'll do in another episode. Uh, actually, no, you know what, we can do it now. Let's just go ahead and pick block it. Magma block comes out of storage there. <laughs> and then, what was that laugh? <laughs> we'll actually match it up just here if you want to. So you can just go for the two there. Three, four. And then we'll go around the corner here. You know what, I'll do a fifth one, just there like so. And then we'll connect it here. On my original one it doesn't connect, but because we had that little bit of track problem, uh, it will connect on this one, but it doesn't make too much of a difference, so it's not to worry. So let's go along to here, and then we know it's going to jump again to another two, so we do that one just there like so. There's going to be a bit of a mountain here. So there we go. Good stuff. I will actually fill this one in actually, just to there. Yeah, nice one. That's pretty cool. Okay, and as for these materials here, we're going to use them for mountain sort of areas and this goes behind the metallic -y building and it actually connects up to the edge of the hotel and that will be where we stop so we're going to go behind this one diagonally just back here so from behind the course up we want to build this one up until just before the stair sorry the fence here then we'll add in a slab then we'll do copper right away from the floor and two blocks above the slab and then we want to go a little bit strangely. So we're going to do this one going up to about here. So just the block under the slab. And I'm going to do an upside down stair. Then I'll do a block and then a slab as well. And I'll do blocks all the way up past that one and then a slab on this one. And then I'm going to use the top as a reference instead of actually building up from the ground. Because uh, 
well, this building covers up half of this anyway, so we're not going to be able to see it. So we can kind of do our own thing, which is cool. So we'll go from this one, it's just here that we've just built, building copper up and leaving a block before the slab there. The next one will be two blocks up from that little gap. One, two. Next one along will be just under that one there and adding in a slab. Uh, I believe that is just about, let's do another one down like that. So there's two blocks still there. Then on this one, there's going to be a stair just here or a slab. Let's do a slab. That looks cooler. Building this up. Uh, hmm. Nah, I'm going to do an upside down stair actually. Then I'll do a block on top and then a slab. Yeah, that's better. And then over here, I'm going to do myself copper again, coming up to the slab. I'm going to add in myself a normal stair and then a block above it like so. Just the one like so. Yeah, that's cool. Then over here, we'll do ourselves another one going above that one. And then this one will just go next to the hotel and we can add in a slab there as well. Like so. On this one, you could always change that one up to another slab of granite. Now, I know these look a little bit sparse on the inside, so you can always change up the texture of these by adding stairs random places, upside down or normally. That is absolutely up to you guys. Don't add too many of them in, but just add enough so they add a bit more detail to the whole thing. Uh, let's do another one just up there. Maybe this one upside down. And there we go. That should be looking pretty good. Yeah, that looks awesome. And then we'll take the black concrete and we'll go behind this mountain range and to the rest of this area. So just up to where the barrel is over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to where the second block back is from here. Yeah, this is a good, good space to be. Just in maybe even one more block back so where the actual hotel wall is complete and build up to the 14 again from this side so we can build this into a giant sort of rectangle shape and then we'll fill it all in afterwards like that and let's just fill this in and there we have it that is basically well that is part 15 completed wicked well that's that assassins thank you so much for joining me for part 15 today we do have an exciting section coming up I believe part 16 will be the end of building our ride. Now, I don't want to, you know, say too much and sort of promise too much as well. But um, we only do have the hanging tree to do. The uh, little house up there, the little manor. The actual manor exit. And then, of course, the mirrors here, which are not going to be too difficult to build. Because we just have to do the same sort of design as what we've already done before. So this isn't going to be too difficult at all. And then, of course, this long stretch back to the front here. So yeah, it's going to be a really fun one. I'm really looking forward to part 16. I hope you guys are as well. It has been an awesome series and uh, it's not quite done yet, but we are getting there, definitely. But thank you so much anyways for joining me. I really, really hope you've uh, enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be epic. Come and stay with us in the hotel by subscribing for future uh, Wheel Assassin guides and tutorials. And um, yeah, guys, I will see you very, very shortly for maybe the end of Phantom Manor. Ooh, who knows? <laughs> Take care, guys. Stay tuned um, with like new uploads and stuff by looking at my social medias. All links are in the description. Almost forgot to say that. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye for now.